This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Wednesday, September 14th, 2016. Euro dollar. So nothing really going on with the euro right now as it continues to consolidate recent price action. Overall, the pressure does remain on the downside while the market holds below that recent high that we saw at 1367, which favors an eventual drop potentially back towards medium term support at 109.12. At this point, any rallies are classified as corrective while we hold below that 1367 high sterling dollar. So cable remains confined to a bearish consolidation over the past few months and while the market holds below 135.33 there's risk for deeper setbacks and fresh multi-year lows, fresh plus 30-year lows below those recent lows that we saw in July around 128 and down towards the 125 area. Dollar yen. Dollar yen remains confined to a well defined downtrend with the market potentially putting in a fresh lower top at 104.32 ahead of the next major downside extension below the recent 2016 low at 98.99. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss continues to chop around. We've seen the market gravitate, got, move a little bit higher over the past few sessions towards 110, but ultimately, while the market trades between 108 and 110, it's confined to a broader consolidation, and we need to see a break above or below for clear directional insight or for a trend breakout. Until then, rallies towards 110 should be well capped, while dips towards 108 should be well supported. Aussie dollar. So Aussie continues to trade lower after stalling out several days back ahead of the 2016 high. The market stalled out at 77.58 and looks to be putting in a lower top there, which will be confirmed on a break eventually back below support all the way down at 71.45. But until then, now the focus is on 74.21 and if the market can see a close below that next key medium term support level. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD continues to show extremely constructive signs with the market now poised for a break of some key highs going back to the 27th of July at 32.54. A break above that level will open the door for a fresh upside extension towards the 135 to 140 area. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is stalled out after trading up to a 2016 high, just shy of 75 at 74.86, and the market will accelerate declines if it can establish below some key support at 72.04. A break below 72.04 will then expose 69.52 further down. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is showing signs of a major top following that recent break that we saw last Friday below 2147. This sets the stage for a potential eventual test of those lows that we saw all the way back in June at 1990. But initially, the market will need to establish a daily close below 2100 to get things going, accelerate declines. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 2180. Gold. So despite recent setbacks in gold, the broader outlook remains highly constructive with the market being well supported on dips towards the 100 day moving average. If we see any dips, additional dips over the coming sessions towards the 100 day moving average in the 1300 area, look for the market to once again be supported in favor of a higher low and fresh upside extension beyond the 2016 peak at 1375 and towards 1450 to 1500 further up.